All right, everybody. Happy Saturday. Welcome to um, our Essential Island Living team. Um, we're having an online class today uh, talking about using uh, essential oils topically. So I'm so grateful to have you all here. If you don't know me, I'm Liza and I'm one of your oily mentors. And um, we are so grateful to have you here. If you're on our team, thank you for showing up uh, to learn more about the power of these amazing oils and products that we love so much. And if you're um, interested, if somebody invited you, if you're still on the fence, please feel free to um, follow up and reach out to the person who invited you so that they can share more and answer more of your questions because um, I know everyone on this call right now would attest and to the over 700 people on our team that we all absolutely love our oils and we couldn't live without them. So, all right. Hi, Kanan. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So let me share my screen. And I'm gonna put everybody over here, I think. And I'm going to, okay. All right, so let me do this. Oh, I'm just going to do this. All right. Okay. So I can't see you guys. <laughs> so if you have anything to say, please go ahead and type into the chat box. And, um, and I think there's a way to even raise your hand if you, if you have something to say. There's a, a hand raising option. So oopsie. Let me go back here. All right, so our topic of our class today is topical use of essential oils. And um, just a quick reminder that there are three uh, ways to use essential oils aromatically, which we covered in our last online class, topically and internally, which we'll cover in our next online class. And so um, anytime you are curious about the use of an essential oil, you can always look for this um, code right here in uh, your doTERRA guide or online. Um, any of their official products pages and resources will sh tell you that um, this tea tells you that this oil is made for topical use. And there are just, we use so many topical products every single day, lotions, soaps, cream, skin care products, cleansers, the list goes on and on. And so essential oils can really help us to accomplish many of the same tasks as these other topical products uh, do. So let's learn more. Let's dive in and learn more about topical use of essential oils. So why should we use essential oils topically? Um, there are insane significant benefits for our skin that we're going to cover more in depth. But what's so great, I have, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hold on one second. I can hear Oh, does anybody know? Okay, hold on. I'm so sorry. I don't know where all that background noise is coming from. There we go. There we go. Okay, so why should we use essential oils topically? They have uh, significant benefits for our skin. They simultaneously provide aromatic benefits as we inhale the essential oils. Um, that are we're putting onto our skin. They can provide soothing, calming, warming, cooling, or energizing feelings for our bodies. And they allow the user, uh, us, to really target specific areas of the body that we ha might have um, a specific need for. So first off, let's talk about our benefits for the skin. So we as women actually use up to 200 different chemicals a day in, um, in our daily routine. Uh, we're applying those to our skin. And um, our bodies absorb about 60% of whatever we put on our skin. And children, our kiddos also actually absorb 40 to 50 times more than adults do when we put things on them topically. So um, there, you know, this really makes this, uh, the topical use of essential oils 
really profound when we're talking about the benefits for the skin. Um, it can help to reduce the appearance of skin imperfections. It helps to cleanse skin, helps reduce fine lines and wrinkles, promotes glowing complexion, and soothes irritated skin. So there are a ton of um, essential oils that can be beneficial for the skin. Um, and some of my favorite ones, um, obviously I love doTERRA's uh, spa products and personal care products, but today I'm gonna focus a little bit more just on the essential oils themselves. And so some of the most powerful essential oils for um, skin are melaleuca, lavender, helichrysum. Um, a lot of these are found in a lot of those personal care products and um, can really be nourishing and cleansing and um, and help us to achieve uh, the desired results we want when it comes to, to skin care. Now, um, not only are there huge benefits of essential oils for our skin, but also for our overall body. So we can um, use essential oils uh, to really benefit our bodies. <laughs> Hold on one second. Hi. Hi, Kate. I have to figure out how to set it so when people log on, um, it automatically goes to to um, muting. So um, it can benefit our body in a number of ways. They can help us to calm, soothe, relax. Um, it can help create warming and or cooling properties. So today's daily healthy habits challenge in our group page, uh, team page is um, on deep blue. And we know that deep blue can create, you know, this really amazing sensation to help reduce the tension in our, in our bodies. Um, so not only does it create that, that, to me, it's like a cooling, tingling sensation, but it also t helps to uh, relieve tension and soothe our muscles. So we can use our essential oils to benefit the body as a whole, or we can just use them to target specific areas. Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit about more about that, um, all the different places that we can use essential oils to target. Um, specific areas of our body, but also where we can put them if we just want to get the aromatic benefits as well. Hold on one second. Sorry, you guys. Okay. Okay. So, how does it work? So, how do you know? How does topical use really? really work. So you might be wondering, how do I really experience benefits as I apply these oils to my skin and body? And really the answer to this question is really scientific. Okay, I'm going to close my door because now my kids are popping, packing bubble wrap downstairs. And the answer is very scientific, but I want to just really explain it at a basic uh, level. Each essential oil contains a specific and unique set of chemical components. And so the chemical components determine how that essential oil is going to interact with the body. And after topical application, that oil is absorbed into the skin and the user experiences these benefits. So we talked on the last slide about how our skin, um, our bodies absorb about 60% about of what we put in. And so this, um, these unique benefits from these chemical components in our essential oils, you know, really help to support us um, and, and at a cellular level. And our, you know, we can also simult simultaneously enjoy the aromatic benefits of the oil as we're breathing in the aroma. And so um, I, I really just love topical use. Um, and I think for me, my biggest challenge is consistency. And we'll talk a little bit more about how often you can use essential oils topically, but I feel like topical use is such a powerful way for us to experience our oils. So we're going to talk a little bit about safety and just keep in mind that um, everyone is different. So we're going to talk about dilution. I'm going to talk about uh, various carrier oils you can use, uh, different dosages and sensitivity. But just, you know, remember that um, not although our essential oils are natural and safe, everyone is different. And so we want to be sure that we... Um, you know, we check for skin, uh, skin sensitivity, that we dilute appropriately, especially for our littles, and that we, um, 
you know, that we use carrier oils that are going to help us increase the efficacy of the oils um, and, and, and make them safe for us to use. So dilution. Um, dilution is really important part of safe topical use of essential oils. If you're worried that diluting an essential oil will, you know, detract from its benefits, you should actually know that it's the opposite is true. Dilution actually helps the oil to absorb into the skin and allows the benefits to last even longer. So um, this can help to actually protect sensitive or delicate skin from being overly irritated. And some oils that we want to um, always dilute, always dilute uh, before use are, are, are the ones listed here. And I consider these um, hot oils. So these are cassia, cinnamon, clove, cumin, oregano, and thyme. And so you always wanna be sure to dilute these oils before use. And, um, doTERRA has an amazing, this was released, I think, two years ago at convention now and, got, you know, has got to be one of my favorite products um, for use as a mom is the doTERRA Touch Kit. So these are nine ready, you know, nine of our most popular essential oils um, in ready pre-diluted um, roller balls. And so if you're a first time user and you're just kind of overwhelmed with, um, you know, just getting started and want a simple way to start using the oils quickly and effectively, but also safely, the doTERRA Touch Kit is an amazing option. And if you don't own this yet and you're already a doTERRA member, I highly encourage you to get your hands on this doTERRA Touch Kit. Um, I have it in a rollerball bag and I just take it with me everywhere I go. And it's really convenient. Um, and I just reuse the bottles as well when they, when they run out. Um, we also have um, our emotions line uh, in pre-diluted rollers, our emotional uh, aromatherapy oils. And then we also have some, some other oils as well that are um, already pre-diluted for us. So when we talk about carrier oils, um, we're really just talking about um, a base oil, and it's typically some sort of pure vegetable oil. And we call it a carrier oil because it helps to carry the essential oil into the desired area on the skin or body, and it really helps to increase absorption into the skin. So like we talked about earlier, um, it doesn't detract from the efficacy of the oils at all. A carrier oil actually helps to drive it in a little bit more. Um, and so, um, here, you know, doTERRA has fractionated coconut oil. Uh, I actually use, um, other brands of fractionated coconut oil. I like the Carrington farms. You can get it at target or Amazon. Um, but you know, fractionated coconut oil just allows, it goes through another process that allows it to have a light non-greasy feel. And it, it, it basically has a much, much longer shelf life. It's also packed full of antioxidants and vitamin E. So uh, for me and my family, fractionated coconut oil is our preferred method. Uh, I'm sorry, preferred carrier oil. But you can use other types of carrier oils such as almond, jojoba, grapeseed, um, sunflower, olive oil. Um, really in a pinch, any carrier oil will do but I really like um, fractionated coconut oil for all its other additional benefits. Um, I love the doTERRA spa hand and body lotion as a way to apply essential oils topically. And now their new body butter is got to be my favorite. I have really dry skin. And so in the morning, I love taking a little uh, scoop of body butter and I put some balance and I work uh, from my feet up my legs. And that's one of my favorite ways to topically apply. Um, and a recommended dilution ratio for um, our uh, topical use is three drops of carrier oil to one drop of essential oil. And so um, this is just a common recommended dilution ratio. If you Google di you know, dilution, uh, doTERRA dilution ratio, they have tons of blog posts and resources for you to use. And then, you know, if you follow other trusted um, essential oil gurus, they, there's um, always recommended um, dilution ratio. So, um, you know, people always want an exact recipe. And I think in the beginning, I was very much like that. But now I very much use my intuition. Um, and in a 10 mil roller, I typically go for anywhere from 15 to 20 drops of essential oil and fill the rest with carrier oil. Um, if I'm doing a, a roller for the kiddos, I do about 10 drops of essential oil. 
So um, maybe I skipped ahead already, but this is um, application amount. So you want to just start with one to two drops and increase as necessary. Again, as you're getting familiar with, um, you know, bringing in more oils into your repertoire or as you're getting started, you want to just start slow and um, take your time with um, application amounts. And um, you always want to, you know, everyone is different. So just to avoid any skin sensitivity um, and skin, you know, um, reactions, you want to just try to use something in a very small area first uh, before you start, you know, lathering it on. And um, what's so great about topical use I think is that um, you can repeat that dose and you know, this recommendation says four to six hours is needed. But when my kids or myself, uh, when we need a lot more extra support, um, I will, you know, put on um, an essential oil every hour or two uh, topically if necessary. And so, um, you know, uh, I really appreciate the, the option for, for topical use because I can support their bodies and my body um, more consistently if necessary. So when we talk about sensitivity a little bit, we just want to apply a small product topically to the skin like we talked about before because there's always a risk of uh, due to sensitivity levels. And, um, and then, you know, if you do not have sensitive or delicate skin, you just want to, um, and you, or you, if you don't have it, you know, people tend to be a little less cautious, but you just never know how your body will react. I'm really grateful that over all this time, I've never found an oil that my body personally has had any reactions to, but um, just always, you know, uh, be safe. Um, and um, if you didn't know, um, our citrus oils are phototoxic. And so we want to really be careful about sun sensitivity. Um, all of those bottles will say to stay out of direct sunlight for up to 12 hours when you're using anything topically, uh, any of our citrus oils. And um, definitely don't go under, you know, sun lamps or any ultraviolet light or tanning beds or anything like that uh, when you put on any... Um, any citrus oils at all. All right, so let's talk a little bit about essential oil classification when it comes to uh, topical use. Um, we have three categories of this, and the first category is neat, the next is sensitive, and the last is dilute. And so again, anytime you pull up any of like the doTERRA product pages, um, or you have their gorgeous new product book, uh, these this coding will be available for you um, so that, you know, to help guide you uh, in your journey. Um, essential oils labeled as neat basically means that they can be applied without diluting the oil at first. These oils tend to have very mild chemistry and it really gives them a low risk for sensitivity. Some of these um, that I love that are also great for kids are oils like um, frankincense, lavender, and melaleuca. These are oils that you can um, apply neatly. Uh, the next category, our classification for essential oils is is, uh, sensitive. So sensitive um, means that they should always be diluted, typically and especially when applied to young or delicate skin. So um, these are ones like peppermint. Um, peppermint's always going to be recommended to be diluted, but if you're like me, I like peppermint straight up. But um, if you're going to, you know, if you ever look up in a book or a resource, it's always going to tell you that peppermint should be diluted, especially for littles. Um, and then the last is sensitive and sensitive. Oh, did I say that wrong? I think I made a mistake. Okay. So sensitive is always needing to be uh, diluted for little guys. And um, I apologize. Actually, I don't know what peppermint would be labeled if it's labeled sensitive or dilute, I would have to look. But for myself, I can I like peppermint straight up, so I use it neat, but that wouldn't probably be what the recommendation is. But then for oils that are recommended to dilute, that means for everyone. Um, oils in this category are the hot oils that I mentioned earlier, like cassia, cinnamon, thyme, clove, and those types of oils. So those are gonna be recommended to dilute for everyone. 
So some areas to avoid, and this is really, really important, is the eyes and the skin around the eyes. So you never want to ever put essential oils directly into your eye, but you want to be really careful. So those of you that are peppermint lovers like me, if you're a peppermint fanatic, there's going to be a time when you get some peppermint in your eye or too close to your eye. A common mistake I have is I'll do my peppermint inhales in the morning and then I will go and put my moisturizer on. And so when I make, you know, a mistake like that, a quick fix is you never want to use water. You want to just use a carrier oil to help um, dilute the, the uh, essential oil down. And so, um, but never put um, in your eyes. Now I do use um, rollers like Rose. I have my Rose Touch roller right here by my bedside and I will like roll it right under my eyes. Rose is really, really safe though. And so, you know, that's okay um, because Rose is safe enough to put there, but you wanna be um, careful. Okay, see, I have a comment, so let me see this real quick. Good to know. No water. No water. Yes, absolutely. Water will make it worse. So um, always want to use a carrier oil. Um, definitely never drop essential oils into your ears or into your nose. So Tay actually, um, last night, if you watched my Instagram story, she woke up with an earache. And um, so I took the I took the Melaleuca touch roller. This is Rose again, but I just took it and rubbed it behind her ear and all the way around here. And I actually put a little bit right up here just to massage it all in, but I would never drop essential oils into um, her ear. I did, however, take the tip of a Q-tip of a baby Q-tip and put a drop of basil and I wedged that in her ear and she slept uh, with that in her ear throughout the night. And so that's um, another way that I used it topically, but not putting it directly in there. Um, another area to avoid are your genitals. Um, we, you know, I've had a situation where somebody looked in the book and the recommendation for UTI was a hot oil. I want to say oregano, but I could be wrong, but it was a hot oil. And unfortunately, they meant to more take that one internally to help flush out um, the toxins that way. And um, the person applied that hot oil to their genitals. So uh, that was really not a good idea. And we definitely want to avoid um, essential oils on there. Um, now, I have to say, though, if um, I do like a common diaper rash spray is like lav lavender, melaleuca, and frankincense with fractionated coconut oil. So in, in that kind of situation, that's a common diaper rash um, or diaper like, um, you know, rash regiment that I did use on Tay when she was younger. And that's totally diluted and safe. But, you know, we just want to really be careful what we put on our genitals and certainly, you know, okay. So awkward moments past. <laughs> um, injured, broken, or damaged skin. You want to really be careful, um, you know, especially with hot oils, uh, what you're putting on any skin that might be like overly sensitive due to um, damage that way. So, okay. Best areas for topical application, though, um, are our face. So using essential oils on our face can help to improve the skin and promote a clear, glowing complexion. You can add essential oils to practically all of your personal care products. And if you're not using doTERRA personal care products, I highly recommend it because there is so much crap in all the things that we buy, even from very expensive cosmetic companies. So I really highly encourage you to do some research about that and get your hands on some of our amazing doTERRA skincare products. But you can drop essential oils into your facial cleanser, um, you can moisturizer, facial lotion, um, or you can just dilute it with fractionated coconut oil and put it right on your face. Um, I love blue tansy. I've been like kind of obsessed with it lately. And I just started dropping a drop of blue tansy in my moisturizer at night. And I really love it. It's pretty amazing. You can use on your temples, your forehead, your base of the skull and neck. So here's my um, triple roller carrier by Red Fox Lane. And my three oils are peppermint, rose, and beautiful. So if I have a headache or head tension, I'm going to roll 
that peppermint right across my forehead and my temples. And I'm going to lift my hair and do it at the base of my neck and literally across my shoulders. And that's my um, routine with peppermint. Um, I'm going to skip a few bullets down. And I also love my peppermint roller on my chest. This is my, and okay, fine. I won't lie. I like roll it across here too. <laughs> This is in the doTERRA touch roller though. So it's already pre-diluted. I like it straight up too. Uh, you can put your essential oil right on your abdomen. And so um, we have an amazing uh, women's monthly blend, Clary Calm, that I just lather right on my abdomen. And it actually comes already in a roller as well. You can put your essential oils on your arms, your legs, your back, your chest. I mean, really anywhere that you're trying to create like a cooling or soothing sensation, anywhere that you might have, you know, if you have a bug bite or an owie right on your arm or on your leg, you, you would apply the essential oil right there. Um, the last uh, bullet here is one of the uh, areas that you'll hear commonly. And when I started using oils, I was like, why on the bottoms of your feet? Your bottoms uh, of your feet have your, uh, the largest pores of your body. So they really absorb those essential oils um, quickly and eff uh, um, effectively. And it really just gets into your bloodstream and nourishes your whole body um, from, from your feet up to, uh, to up your body. And so if you're trying an essential oil for the first time or using essential oils on kiddos, you can put on the bottoms of the feet because the skin there is also much thicker and is typically less sensitive. Um, there's a couple other reasons why I love using um, the bottoms of our feet. Um, you know, this idea that our feet are what ground and connect us to the earth and to, um, to really nature. And so, you know, applying the essential oils there help to ground us to that as well. Um, I, my kiddos routine with um, that is on guard. Here's their on guard roller right by my bed. It's like practically empty. Um, they put this morning and night bottoms of their feet, whether they're healthy or not. When they aren't healthy, like Tay right now, she'll get this down her spine and she'll get it more frequently on the bottoms of her feet as well. Um, I just, that's one of my favorite places when you don't need a targeted area of the body to put on. Um, I just, <laughs> I feel like the list goes on and on for my topical use, but I did want to share. I showed you already how I use peppermint and I actually showed you how I use rose. I also like in the morning when I wake up and at night to put rose over my heart. Um, so it's really become one of my favorites. And then my current other obsession, and I feel bad every time I do this because you can't buy this oil anymore, is this beautiful blend. And I just apply this to my wrists like that. And you can see how it oils up. And I just kind of take it and then I apply it right here along my jawline just to um, get that. And I love all of these oils on any of my diffuser jewelry as well. So, um, all right. So here's a great chart. I know for you guys, it's probably really small. If you Google doTERRA, um, you know, topical use, it comes up. I just absolutely love this chart. It's so amazing. Um, and if it's not already in our group, I'll be sure to post it there after this uh, class. But it talks about the different oils you can use and where you can use them. So, you know, areas, targeted areas, forehead, face, back and neck, back, wrist, legs, bottoms of the feet, arms, abdomen, chest, base of skull, and temples. So definitely um, check out that diagram or graphic in more detail. So here are some examples of topical usage with some of our different products. So first is Deep Blue. And uh, Deep Blue is amazing. All of the Deep Blue products are amazing. You can apply to your wrist, shoulders, and neck after long hours on the computer. I know a lot of people that get like lock or tight jaw like to apply this essential oil right along their jawline. Uh, our Deep Blue actually comes in a Deep Blue Touch and a straight up deep blue roller. So if for those of you that like it a little bit more hardcore. Um, eucalyptus, you can apply topically to the chest and breathe deeply for an invigorating vapor. I personally love the breathe blend. I have breathe and blue tansy going in my diffuser right now. Frankincense is a profoundly powerful skin oil. It's really a go-to oil for everything. You can add to your moisturizer to reduce the appearance of blemishes and rejuvenate the skin. Add lavender to a bath water to soak away stress or apply it to the temples or uh, back of the neck. 
So here are a couple of other products that are infused with essential oils as well. Our skincare product lines all have essential oils in them. Our Deep Blue Rub, our doTERRA spa products. I mean, if you have not tried our shampoo and our body wash, get those in your LRP today. You will not be disappointed. It makes me happy to wash my hair and I absolutely love our body wash. Um, our doTERRA breathe uh, respiratory blend. And if you don't have a bottle of Correct X, I'm telling you guys, it's like skin amazement in it's like our version of Neosporin, but a bazillion times better because there's no harmful chemicals. There's helichrysum, sandalwood, frankincense. Um, it's just a powerhouse. I literally had like, so I think got sold six tubes of this this month. And um, I don't know how that purple line just got up there. I literally uh, sold six tubes of this this month and um, I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. I have one in my car, in my uh my bag in my bathroom so my kids know anytime anything happens they go and get the correct x out too so doTERRA has a plethora of resources for us to use and they have an entire ebook on topical use of essential oils which is basically going to cover everything that i talked about in today's class and more so go check that out you can google it or if you go to doTERRA.com and go to our at uh our advocates, and then I think it's on the ebooks tab, and you can check out all the other amazing ebooks that we have. Before we go um, log off or finish off this class, though, it wouldn't be right if I didn't talk to you a little bit about our lifelong vitality pack. So, topical use is amazing, but like anything else, we want to support our bodies from the inside out. And our doTERRA lifelong vitality pack um, is just really the cornerstone of our foundation, uh, foundational health. So, we're talking about the Microplex VMZ with our essential vitamins and minerals, which we're not getting from our daily food or diet. Our, our omega 3, those essential fatty acids um, that are so critical for healthy heart, healthy brain. And last but not least, our alpha CRS blend, our cellular longevity blend and cellular energy blend with all those powerful antioxidants and polyphenols to help repair and restore our bodies at the cellular level. So I'm always going to give a little plug about doTERRA lifelong vitality because it really is what we all need in our lives is high quality supplementation. And the absorption is off the Richter. And that's what's really important. Um, also, you're not getting mega dosed in anything. You're getting the optimal levels of what your body needs. So um, nine, uh, 30 day money back guarantee. And uh, if you haven't tried this, try it for sure. If you haven't enrolled yet, definitely add this to your enrollment kit or um, add it on your monthly LRP. Um, all right. Last but not least, our April promotions are still going strong. So if you haven't enrolled yet with doTERRA, if you get started with oils and have a qualifying order of 100 uh, PV, which is product volume, you get $50 in free product credits, which is amazing. And for all of our current team members that are on the call today, you get an additional um, 50 PV of product as well. So for all of you that have enrolled somebody this month with a 100 PV order, congratulations on earning yourself some more free product so that you can try some more of our amazing doTERRA products or just stock up on all the things that you love so much. So I'm going to go ahead and put us all back to the full screen and please feel free to unmute yourself and ask any questions. All right. Anybody have any questions? I just wanted to say for the correct X um, for my son, I know there's always been questions about eczema. My, my son is almost 16 months old and correct X was the only thing that helped. And um, so anybody with babies or little, little guys or friends with babies, um, that's one thing I want to say. And diet, of course, is a big deal. But um, when we started introducing foods, correct X was really what helped us the most. So um, just a little tip. Thanks for sharing that, Kanan. That's awesome. I feel like those are the kinds of things we all want to know and learn about from each other, you know, the little tips and tricks that we all have. So 
Um, thank you. I love another tip for um, Correct X is, you know, when we go into airplanes and stuff, you know, we always see people that travel with like their face mask and it's because what we breathe, you know, there's so much bacteria and stuff in the air. So if you just put a little bit of Correct X like inside your nasal passages, um, just like to kind of layer your, your and protect yourself from all of the airborne pathogens. So I always love that as a as a suggestion as well. Anybody else? Hi. Well, hi, Kate. Um, I'll hop in. Um, I mean, I feel like I use so many different oils topically, but um, just thinking about skin, skin sensitivity, um, I have really sensitive skin. And whenever I shave my legs, I get just razor burn. And so what really helps me is um, I'll put a bunch of coconut oil in my hand with lavender and melaleuca. And it always works. Like it's within minutes, it feels better and it looks way better too. So that's one that I just love. Oh my. This one wants to, wants to talk. <laughs> Hi. What's your favorite oil topically, Ryan? Uh, breathe. Ooh. You and Auntie Lies. I knew I liked you, girl. <laughs> oh, yes. Any um, other? Another one that I've been just thinking about the last couple of days, I've been using a lot of deep blue because I did a workout with Kelly this week and my <laughs> legs were killing me for days. Um, I do two to three of those at 5 a.m. every week. I don't know how you do it. So that was my best friend. And then I also got my period, so my back was aching last night. And so I just put some deep blue and within minutes, oh, it felt so much better. Nice. I love all of these. So better for me. Okay. Anybody else want to share their favorite, like, or go to, like, little hack for um, topical use? All right. Well, there's a couple of new people on and that I don't know. And I see three names, Jennifer, Megan, and Debbie. So I just really want to say thank you so much for joining us. Um, you know, if, if you're, if you, you know, being part of the team or showing up to learn more, it's just so awesome to see people like showing up for these. And it really encourages me to keep doing them because sometimes you know, I'm not sure if it's, if it's worth it. And for, you know, all of you other lovely team leaders, Marlene and Marissa and Kanani and Kate and Alice and Laura that are showing up, thank you guys so much for spreading the word. So remember all of these um, are recorded and posted and linked on my YouTube channel. And so if you ever have people that have questions and can't, couldn't make a live um, class, you can always go ahead and send them the links to those so that they can catch the replay. Um, if there's nothing else anyone wants to share, and I also have to say I love doing this because like I'm literally sitting in my bed. I see Kanan on her like cheetah print pillow laying on the couch. <laughs> Um, I think somebody else was in their car. And so it's just super cool that, you know, we can all connect like this and share and learn more uh, through the comforts of our own houses too. So um, quick update for those of you that are on the team. We and on Maui, where our next really big event is a huge, um, Kanani's having a 101 class. Um, shucks, Kanan, I always forget the date off the top of my head. Me uh, May 6th. May 6th, okay, at 3 p.m. at her mm -hmm. house. And then also we're having a huge Mother's Day event on May 12th. Um, we decided to do something different. We're going to do it at a beach in Kihei, and we're going to do like um, like a Mother's Day pampering event. So we're going to have spa products and scrubs, and everybody's going to leave with – they get to make one rollerball or some goodie of their choice. And so um, I think we're looking at a 4, 4.30 start time. I can't remember what we changed it to look be on the lookout for the invitation for that um, but we really hope that you guys can make it to um, that event to you know celebrate just being a mom or being a woman or um, whatever being not even women have to I mean we can have our men there too but um, that you know it, since May is Mother's Day so all right, you guys, thank you so much for showing up. And I did take a random picture of you, but I'm going to give you guys the option. I always love to post a picture. So if you guys could just give me a quick smile. Hey. Okay. All right. 
Thanks, you guys, for showing up. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy oiling. And as always, thank you so much for trusting us in your essential oil journey. We love you all. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.